All right, guys, we're gonna go and speak to Serona in the three broomsticks. We have to change my outfit. <laughs> Peeves are getting on my knees. Seems like it's nighttime. We're gonna go outside and wait for day. Get some light on the scene. Off to go see Serona. Oh, we're here. We're gonna go visit an old friend and sell some nice items. See you again. Everything here is sellable. And I don't know how much money we're gonna have, but if we end up having an, a little over a thousand, we're gonna go buy that large table. Ooh, we're getting there. We can go see how much it costs at least. Like Actually, let's just go complete this quest and maybe we'll have enough afterward. Do I have my talent points? I have four. I have four talent points. See, I was holding off on this because I didn't know what spells I really wanted to kind of specialize in. They have Bombarda, they have the, the slicey one, Incendio, they have all those things, and I don't know which ones I like the most, you know? I have no idea yet. Enemy shock was too far, I mean, stunned for a longer period of time. That works. Ooh, I like that. Basic cask shoots on everyone. Yeah. We definitely want, like, everything in this. For sure. We can get the side quest while we're at it, Hello there. Nice just to, to have you. it. And I know there's tons of stuff in again. here. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. On the fringes of the Forbidden Forest? Okay, well, we're not going there. We're going to say hi to good guy, girl, Serona. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. How can you trust a goblin? I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Hmm. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rockwood? Have or you Rookwood? heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Are you worried about Rookwood? You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. 
They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, Bavelia. watch your back. Will do, but first, we're going to travel, because there is a lot of stuff in this place that we can get gold-wise. The three room, six private room is secluded. Space off the main room of the pub. Yeah, it's kind of why it's locked. Hogwarts professors appreciate having a separate area in which to gather to avoid encountering students. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the students appreciate the professors having a separate space as well. Huh. That's neat. So this is where the professors all meet. There's nothing else up here? I don't think there's anything else. Which means we can go on about our day. Lodgok at Hog's Head. You too, I'll meet. <laughs> Did I already get the... I thought there was a one of those things here. Oh, there it is. He's a mad guy. How you doing, Lord Gok? Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to. So I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me. And she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Mm, sounds like a trap to me. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Why would I need supplies if this wasn't a trap? We're gonna go see good guy Loggok at the witch's tomb. We'll just skip across this way, and he's right up here. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. As we walk... What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. That's all crypto potion. Can we sprint? Come on. Hop to it. There's people to the left. Can we kill them? Come here. Come here. I want the fur. 
I'll come back up there in a second. Oh, it's gonna, like, end it, isn't it? If I go too far from him. Uh, oh, those are nice. And there's some lacing flies up here, huh? Yep, nice. Alright, where are we going again? I'm gonna ignore the Merlin trowel. For now. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Um, nah, not really. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Okay, I'm going in. Everything just lights on fire. Beautiful. Lumos. It's sealed. There he is. Leave you there. Moths. Curious. And we're gonna get that chest too. Or er, I guess it was just gold. Lumos. Nothing else. Lumos. Big chest to the left. Apparently there's rats and stuff. This place is huge. Ooh, got some dueling gloves. That's better than what I had. Yeah, we're gonna have enough for that table after this. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. I have a feeling I need to pulse. Oh, I had it on. No, that's Accio. I need to pulse of it. I guess Accio or it's cool. Let's take you. Throw you right there. And now there's a third one. But in the meantime, we can grab all this gold and stuff. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's move on through the door. Nice. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Well, that's the sign we're gonna fight. Oh, it's those guys that burn, huh? That need to be burned. Uh, you got to burn. Well, hold on. There we go. Now he's taking damage. Uh, whee! Get him out of here first. Hang out there for a second. Nice. Stench of the dead. I don't know what that stuff's good for at all. Apparently there's some stuff back there. Is that it? There's a chest up there. How oh, can I 
Can I just climb? There's gotta be a box or something for me to get up there. Out of curiosity, maybe I can just accue you. Can I climb on the box? Oh, I could just... <laughs> well, way to make it complicated. I have a feeling that you have to go there. Not bad. I'm not going down there yet. There's still some good stuff to have. Never rush through any area in this particular game. Oh, I gotta put Accio back on. Actually, keep the pulso on. That might be a good one. Rebellion. Anything else? Yep. Ooh, Druid Wolf Cape. That's gonna be cool. A little bit of gold there. Like I said, we need all the gold we can get because we gotta go buy that table to learn a new spell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can go that way too, can't I? Hmm. Okay, no monsters or nothing? No enemies? Alright. Wait. Keep an enemy airborne for 10 seconds. don't have the spells to deal with all this. Ow.
There we go. Oops. There we go. Let's take him. I think we have to put him up here. And then it looks like we need to push this. Takes us up here. There's one right here. Lumos. There's also one over there. Hey, come on. Open says me. There we go. We're going on in. What's his final resting place? Lord Gog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Can bring it. Oh, I thought this thing's light on fire. Rebellion. Nothing else over here. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. No, he won't. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lodgok, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Okay. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. I'm gonna whoop somebody's butt. Oh, I'm about to whoop somebody's butt. I thought I saw balloons over there. I did not. Oh, they have trolls. This is gonna be fun. Um, there they are. The Ashwinders. Let's kind of go on the outside of the camp. There we go. There's some equipment over here we can grab. Well, that was easy. Maybe not. I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, but you don't even see me, you goof. I kind of want the troll boogies. Turns to the wall. You dare slay one of my own. You will fall. Can't 
Whoa, that's a troll. Uh, I have Maxima, that'll help. I gotta disarm him, though. This guy's forever to beat, man. Well, that's not right. Come on, bully. I can't hit RP and throw that back. Okay, good. Now, where's the other guy? I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. We got troll boogies for that mission now. Yay. Anything we're forgetting. There's some chests. This is why having that Revelio reveals more is like so useful. You get so much stuff. And we have to sell like a lot of it right now. But see, I would have probably walked right past these leech juices. Oh, there's two people over there. We can go say hi. You will pay for your deed. There we go. That that was just for fun. Okay, great. Now we can grab all this stuff. And we can return the helmet to Lodgok. I'm going to be doing another playthrough on Slytherin next time. And we're going to be playing as if I was the wizard. We're completely different. This girl's good. My next playthrough, bad yeah, boy. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning. It looks stunning. She's Lord super God. nice. Too I nice for her own good. Back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Ah, oh, yes. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Of course not. Why would they? Rebellion. I leveled. Nice. We just want to report back to Hogsmeade really quickly Hello, to friend. sell off some gear. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Sure, I guess we can do that. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. <laughs> Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Oh, this game's about to pick up. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Now we definitely 
definitely have enough. It is down here. It's at the tome. Tombs and scrolls. I think it's the large one I need. Nothing like that. Let's put on our gear. That looks nice. We gotta meet with Deke to fix that room up. We gotta grow and harvest flux weed. So that'll involve going to Deke's room too. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. We could do that like right now. Find butterflies in the forbidden forest. We could possibly do that right now. And some of the stuff we'll leave for next time. But for now, cast a pulso on a levitated enemy. Just run over here, see if we can run into anybody. Looks like there's two down here. Wait, that wasn't levitated? No. That's not it. I need to levitate them. There we go, now I got it. Okay, that took care of that for us. Let's do the butterfly one while we're here. Huh? There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Where did he go? Revelio. It says collect my reward. Miss Willardsey will never believe where the butterflies led me. What am I looking for? Oh, there we go. Look what we have here. Oh, I got a return? Okay, we'll do that later. We're gonna go off to the Room of Requirement. Well, let's pick up a side quest, I guess. Nope, picking up side quest. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Oh wow, sounds fascinating. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which, of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? <laughs> According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Uh, I'll see what I can do. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Okay, we will do that next episode. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it... A knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Hmm. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then.
Okay. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I have a thing to put down. Oh, heck yeah. That is cool. Right there. We're gonna go with Deke and capture some beasts. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Well, don't worry, Deke. We love you. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. Revenue. Let's put the knapsack on. I think I got him. You got one. Now you don't really want to talk to Deke, because I think I'll look after you. Now if you want to view what you have, you can press start and then go over to your inventory and it should be right in there. And you can see if they are male and female. I have a male and a female, which is what we want. Always want two. I think an old 10 too, so these entry level to ones puff always get a male and female. Rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right, where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. And we're off to find our good guy Deke. Good guy Deke, we're coming. I like how he just teleports, yet he doesn't take me with him. In the Deathly Hollows part two, he the goblin like grabs their hand and they all teleport. Deke just leaves me by myself, unfortunately. Sup, Deke? Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, I want... I want that one. Let's... That is like a star next to it. That's why I wanted it. But I think that one was a male. I'm not going to hurt you. They're gonna fly around. Eventually, they'll stop again. And we want that one. Gotcha. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. That's two down. Let's talk to Deke. I rescued a jobbernal. 
Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. He has beautiful eyes. Let's grab this. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Okay. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. So we're going to go to the map, and we're going to wait. Same strategy, we're going to go invisible. And I think we're going to stop him with Levioso and take him that way. Okay, let's get this one first. Well, I guess that one will work. Uh, this looks like it's a female. Oh, he's got three. Got him. Professor Howard, you never believe this. Pavilion. All right, so now I need this one. So now, if we look at our inventory, and we go in, we can see we have a male and a female juvenile, a male and a female moon calf, a male and a female puff skein. Let's go up here and get all these moon shards. And we'll go get whatever that was. This little knapsack looking thing. Okay, back to deep. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, looks like we are gonna make a pit stop back to the room of requirement, because I am not getting off without finishing this quest. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. <laughs> that wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly <laughs> did you think of? Wow. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I guess we're going in. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Oh. <laughs> oh. Deke 
thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Let's get some right now. Okay, he gave us his fur. Where's the Jabbernol? There she is. Mashing the food button, trying to feed him. All right, now we got some stuff. Yeah, this place is pretty dope. And I know that you can, like, summon things out here. Beast items and stuff if you buy them. Outdoor items that you've collected. You can put trees and things. That's why you get all these moonstones. So you can decorate. It's really cool. If I just want a bunch of these like laid out next to each other, I can have that. I'm just going to put a bunch down since we have all those things. Oh, I can't put this one down. Is it hitting something? What's a twisted tree look like? I like the twisted tree. Yeah, but this stuff's cool. An ancient brazier. Oh, fire. Nice. We could decorate and have some fun with this in a bit. Like, later on. Ooh. A hippogriff. Oh, that's sick. A large hippogriff statue? Oh yeah. Our own enchanted fountain. We're gonna have some fun. What's this? Just a standing stone? A twisted statue? Wow. The stuff you can build in this, that they let you have in this game is cool. You can even do archways and stuff. This is sick. Oh, you can even do patterns on the floor and stuff too. Oh wow, I can go up it. I did not think that was going to be a thing. The mermaids, the statue. The wood. And of course you can get rid of all this stuff too. But we don't want to. I like it. I'm just going to keep all this stuff there for now. And we have all of our stuff. Deke can show us how to do some stuff with the gear. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Alright, we're gonna head back through. 
and conjure an enchanted loom. We're just gonna place the loom like right here for now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can get stuff from beast dens and bandit camps is what that was saying. You can upgrade if you have mooncalf fur, which you can, which is nice. Uh, we also want to view the traits because you can put traits on it with your puff scheme fur. Some of them take other stuff, but um, we want this one. Or this one would be nice. Ambush would be kind of cool to have. And you can put it on everything, you know, all the stuff you have equipped. Which I don't even think it tells you what you have equipped. You just kind of, oh, it's highlighted, it does tell you. Let's upgrade our gear while we can. All the stuff that we have equipped. Looks like we can keep upgrading this. And this. Can I upgrade this too? Nope, I need more Mooncalf for. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. No, right, where's Deke? Hey Deke, I used your stuff. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Now we have Professor Garlic's assignment to do as well. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got some progress done, some minor progress. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. And um, I hope you stick around for the next episode. I can't get her to look at the camera. I think she's camera shy. Sorry. All right. Have a good day. Thank you for watching episode 22 of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough.